Hey, what's up? This is Hunter Nelson with Tortoise and Hair Software, and today we're going to be talking about how to automate your social media posting by scraping RSS feeds in order to syndicate content and keep your pages looking full. Um, so I'm going to pop over to the screen capture here, and we are going to uh, take a look at a blog here. Um, so the first thing you need to do before you actually scrape these RSS feeds is find a blog or RSS feed that you want to scrape. Um, and I'll just there's probably better ways to do this, but uh, I'll show you kind of a tip that I found. Most WordPress blogs and WordPress is super popular. Um, most sites of the internet are using it. Um, the URL for the RSS feed for the blog is just adding slash feed to the end of the URL. So foodhandler.com slash blog slash feed. Um, and then if I hit enter here, boom, we can see that there is an RSS feed configured. Um, so now we have the feed URL. Okay, so we're going to use this feed URL. Um, so I'm going to come over here to Publer. Um, and I'm here on the Publer dashboard, and Publer is a social media automation and posting tool. And one of my favorite features within that tool is the RSS feed, RSS feed um, feature. Um, so what I'm going to come over here and do is click on this RSS feeds tab, and then on this tab I'm going to come over here to the bottom left and click on Add RSS feed. All right, so the feed name is the food safety blog. Let's go with that. The feed URL here, uh, we're going to use the feed URL that we just got from the URL. <coughs> um, and this is one of the cool features of it is um, you can include or exclude um, keywords, and it will check the content that comes through the feed and either include it based on keywords where the article does contain that specific keyword or exclude keywords based off of where a article contains a keyword. So this is really good um, because you know depending on publish frequent publishing frequency and depending on the types of content that the blog posts, you know you might spot certain types of content that um, you don't want on that um, on your page. So you can exclude the keywords um, from those posts. Um, and you know half the game to begin with is just finding a blog that posts like relevant content for your audience so um, but the include and exclude filters here are great ways to kind of boil that down even further um, and you know you can also kind of use that to control publishing frequency and some other kind of you know things like that but you know anyways so you know we've got our RSS, RSS feed configured here we've got the feed URL um, and there's a couple things you can do with it. Um, the first is no action, and you can just start scraping the, the feed, which is a good way to just get started with it. Um, the next is to auto post, so you can kind of like auto post the um, blogs as soon as they come out. I don't recommend this one option, this option generally because usually um, you'd rather just kind of put it into your daily posting schedule. Um, <coughs> um, on the auto schedule here you can use the article title as caption and the article description as a caption I like to do that and I also like the, to post the new articles as a photo because those generally get better reach on social media um, from there you can go and select a specific uh, account to publish that RSS uh, feed to or configure like a group of accounts to post them all to that account at the same time um, so I'm going to post this to a uh, food safety training clients uh, page and I'm actually going to hit no action for now actually but that's what I would have done if I wanted to auto schedule that but for now I'm going to go with no action because I need more time to make sure that this is this is the right content for, the, for that particular company <coughs> Um, it takes a minute to, for the scraper to run to actually kind of scrape the page. So just be patient with it. Um, it can take a minute to actually do that. And once this is done um, scraping, I will show you kind of what the RSS feeds look like in practice.
Okay, so we're all done scraping here, and uh, now I'll just show you what an RS feed will look like after it's kind of done scraping content. Um, so boom, we've got this food safety blog, and you know we've got all these articles that we can kind of like you know look through that are coming in through this RSS feed. And if we did not auto schedule or auto post them, you know you can just select a. Okay, so that's like a preview of the article, but you can select um, these individual articles and hit this uh, kind of share icon here. And then boom, that automatically imports it into a post. And you can write your own kind of like uh, commentary on the post and you know hit that as post or recycle it or whatever you'd like to do. Um, but yeah, you know, Pulling in this like syndicated content is a great way to augment your social media reach and help attract people to your brand um, that are in your target market. And I'll give you an uh, example of um, you know what I do for tortoise and hare. Um, so I actually scraped the Sastra uh, marketing category of blog posts because SAS is like a, a target customer base. And then there's also a popular MSP sort of blog um, that. I actually haven't identified yet, but you know, uh, I do scrape the SAS uh, trail one for now. But you know, identify your target markets, identify influential blogs within those target markets, and scrape their RSS feeds and uh, send that content out to your audience. And that helps, like, you know, augment your social media performance. I don't recommend this as like the only thing that you do for your, you know, company page, but if you're mixing in third party content along with your first party content, you know, it can build trust, it can, you know, um, keep your audience engaged instead of sending them the same old, you know, stuff from your uh, company that's more, uh, it's going to be trusted more um, when there's third party content mixed in. Um, so that's pretty much it for today. Um, hope you liked the video. We covered how to scrape RSS feeds using Publer and um, distribute them on your social media pages. Um, aka content syndication for better kind of brand exposure and visibility. Um, if you like the video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button here on YouTube, and get notified when we uh, publish new digital marketing content. Uh, I'm Hunter Nelson, and thanks for watching.